Rusty Rusty Possum Bayou. Tonight I'm going to tell you, show you what I've been doing the last week or two since I told you I was going to tear my layout down and move it into the new room. And you'll see tonight I have it in the new room and basically what I had to do, this was a bedroom that I was using. I moved all of my furniture out of here and rearranged some other furniture in the house and different things and had to completely paint the walls in here do that whole thing clean up after painting a little this and that had all that done and then I had to move all the bench work that I had though which was basically modular tables that I took apart I thought I could keep them more together but really well I, there was only one that I kind of kept together but the rest of it I had to Make do with, make new piece, not necessarily make new pieces, but to make maybe a little different legs or something and just rearrange them all. And I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I'm only going to have like, let's say one lift out bridge and that's going to be it instead of the three that I was going to have before. That's going to make it a lot easier to do and basically feasible. I'm going to show you a few things that I used also to make this thing level and to, to do the job itself. So right now, let's get on. I'll show you the tour of the layout room and you can see what I've done. As you can see, as you come in here, I have my helper. There's Raven in here. That's my youngest cat. I have two. One's 15 years old and this one's about five, maybe four or five. She may not be quite five yet. She don't really get to come in here too much. This is just kind of a overview of what I've been doing. I've cleaned up in here, painted the walls. Got a little area for my workbench. Got a little glare from the lights. A little desk that I have. I need to put the covers back on receptacles over there. You can see the little hardwood floor I have in here. Basics, I don't know if you've got a hardwood, it's actually pine. And this is a little area here. This little long stretch here is probably going to be something like a staging yard or a yard, the rest of it. Haven't quite figured out yet, but this section was left over. This is a pretty stout section here. The way I've got it built, it's almost like cabinets. I just haven't put all the trim work on the front of it yet. And I've kind of went around the wall. I've got plenty of room for storage underneath everything. Got this handy dandy little drawer unit there. I'm gonna have to see if I can get me another one at Walmart or wherever. And I'll be able to put over some of the foam over these. This actually is gonna neaten up everything when I finally put some fascia up here, but also sturdies up this whole thing. As you can see, I've kind of got it. Some right here, the same thing. I've got it in most of the corner in these corners. This part of the layout right here, as you'll see, a lot of this stuff is like 16 inches. The reason that's 16 inches, you can take, I could take a piece of plywood that I done a few years ago and you can rip it in three different pieces, 16 inches wide across there instead of two 24 inch pieces. So this tabletop over here on this wall there, that's 24 inch section, this 24 inches wide all the way down. I had to actually make this special the other day, which wasn't that hard to do. And the section over there, that is all 16 inches as well as it comes around by Raven here, then back to here, this is 16 inches. Now this one here happens to be 18 inches, the one with the bucket on it and the drill there, that's 18 inch each is wide now this little thing right here with the square sitting on it that's only 12 inches wide but I've got if you see I've got it pretty well it is made pretty stout and it's bolted to the rest of the layout on the other end so it's in there pretty good I will probably come in and put some of those 45 degree pieces right there to shore it up even more I got two layers of foam. One of the problems that I ran into is that in reality, the parts of this layout, like over here and this right here, 
I had a three quarter inch piece and a half inch piece and I'd went and bought some more three quarter inch to make that, got it all cut out and ready to go. And uh oh, it's too tall. So then I had to go back to Lowe's this morning to get a half inch piece, which I got three quarters in the bottom and a half inch on the top and made that in, into a smooth piece. One of the things that this whole thing is on the bottom of these, as you can see right there on the corner, I have these little levelers and my partner right here wants some attention. Here's some of the things that I use. I'm going to go out. These are real handy to put, if you can put into legs with some of these nice tuba twos that I found. Trying to get this open. Oop, drop them everywhere. But what it is, is these little T nuts, and you drill a, I drilled a uh, 3 8 inch hole. These are 5 8, these are 5 6 inch T nuts, and I drove these into the leg. And then, to aid in the leveling, I use these 5 6 inch carriage bolts, and you can screw them up and down, and that is very, very advantageous when you have something like this and this long around here. It took a little bit of work to get all of this. When I finally finished what was crazy, everything over here was level. Let me slow down my spinning. When I get over here, when I got over to this thing, I had a lot of room there, so I had to actually redo those legs right here, but just cut a little off of them and put the levers back on there and they get it all level. Actually, what had happened, this whole area here was running uphill and uphill and uphill just a little bit until it got way over here, a good 10 feet or 11 feet distance, and it was about half to three quarters an inch higher than I needed. So now I, this and this where Raven sitting are basically the same level. Now, the basic thing to these is to get the base right on these layouts is I can work I have a place to work from now. I may probably, I'll probably run the track on a little bit taller, maybe not a half inch, maybe a quarter inch or something with, uh, and then have the court road bed on top of that. I'm not real sure, but the, any structures of any kind and terrain will be on different levels of track will pretty much stay the same. I may have a change in elevation, but I don't think so. It's going to be pretty much as well. I think I'm going to have a switching layout here with with this lift out here, which is just going to be a hinge bridge, basically to make it a roundy round. But that'll be about it. Just for once in a while, I'll have something going around. But for the most part, it's going to be switching. Right, but I think I have another three foot piece that I may put in here, three foot long. It's eight, six inches wide, but three foot long. I'm, I'm not real sure if I'll use that or not. I kind of like this wide open space. That's pretty good. I had to come in and paint the walls. They were a dark green, so it's lightened up the room a lot. Still may need to put a different light in here. Some of the handy dandy tools that I had, here's one of them. Black and Decker cordless drill. Those things I got five different batteries for five batteries, so I've got plenty of batteries. I have my little shop back in here, which does real good when you're drilling, clean up the sawdust, clean up your mess as much as you can as you go. Here's you're gonna need the square, and I had a two foot long level that you've probably seen those. Now here's something else too. It's basically for putting down tile, but you can sit this level and watch the and have the bubble and basically it you can have this thing leveled in all you know in all directions. Just get the bubble in this close in this center ring as you can, and there you go. Now, a lot of these places, like where that has to be, I would snug them up with these clamps. I, I can't remember where I bought these at Harbor Freight or Lowe's. But, uh, let me see, that one's got a tag on it. Hey, 
Anyway, those you could hand clamp those down. They have this little quick release here on them. But they, I bolted those together, and I put that there, and I used. Let's say I used some of these, some quarter inch bolts that I had, like this, these carriage bolts. And on the back side, I just tightened them down. That's the same. They, I got them over there. And in different places, they just lay out as put together. I've done it by some wood screws and by those bolts. So, But this has been a big deal. And when I glue these foam on here, I don't necessarily weight it. As you'll see here, I put screws in here to hold this foam in place until the glue dries. And I can take those out. Some parts of it I've already taken them out and they're there, but this here I was put on there today. And some of this, I had to replace that over there as well, I think. No, it was this one here I did today. And there we go. And sooner or later, I'll back those out. It's just, it, it actually is foam dense enough. It holds down as long as you don't get too carried away with it. As soon as the head hits the top of that, you stop. That way it don't just go in for that drill to send it all the way through if you're not careful. So I was saying, those self-levelers, like I said, you got all these different legs and different things, especially the ones over here on the ends and where these come together. So that was, that's just a, cantilevered piece off these other legs over here. It, even though it's not attached there, these legs have levelers on them, the ones on the end, as well as right here. And then you can see the way I made these out of plywood. This is some old recycle stuff, my old layout. And those square blocks at the bottom have those levelers like I was talking about that I put in there. Without those, this would be a lot harder to do with these modular tables. It's basically, a, basically it's a trick I got from Intrac. Works pretty good. So this is where I've started going. This is how I have it. Should look pretty good. I even have me, even though it's in a mess right now, right over there, I have the little desk I picked up at a thrift store that I can use for a workbench. And I have worked with it on a workbench before. So there it all goes. And back over here to Raven, as you can see right there in that hall, that color that that is let me get my hand out of the way and there where you look it into the bathroom there that's the green that this wall was the rest of the house is that green color except for that bedroom over down the hall and the other bedroom i started is just blue too but the rest of the house is that dark green and that's what was in here it took it, it took two coats of paint to cover it completely so so there you have this and we'll Continue on the next times I start laying track and everything. So there you have it, what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. I also got this little handy dandy. My mother got me this little Dickies pouch. I mean, apron with these pouches and everything on it. My daughter said, oh, Grandma, I asked, what do you like for Christmas? And I showed her, well, I really like that thing. And I showed her, it's on Facebook. If you ever look on Facebook, these Dickies or apron, it's, it's a pretty neat little thing. Best for keeping up with your stuff while you're working. And basically my mom bought it for me, so. But basically, how many times are you looking for this thing and it's laying somewhere or whatever? I've got two attached to this this thing now, a yellow one and a green one. See that green? It's like, how do you not find that sitting in here? You know, you know you had stuff laying around doing and everything. It's like, even when I'm outside doing stuff, Lord. But this thing keeps everything on you like the screws and the extra bits for the drill and your writing utensils. I can keep a couple of them on me. I don't know how many times I was like, where's my pencil or my pen or whatever I'm marking with. And my little knife that I cut, that just score, well basically you just score the foam and just go pop and it breaks. But 
this is what I've been doing and it looks like I'm actually gonna like it. it it kind of was getting mm, it was starting to look like this that was becoming a money pit for a little bit but I think I've got all this done now I can start laying the track getting scenery put on the buildings back on there very how I'm gonna do the paper mill I may have to add that three foot piece like I was talking just to put that on I'm not real sure that 20 point wide place looks like it may can take it but that's going to be the, the biggie. Like I said, it's going to have, you can run a train around through it, but mostly it's going to be just taking stuff from one place to another. And that one little yard's going to be basically a staging yard. It'll have a few tracks. Well, not sure how many, but some of the trains can be left in there and put in the case or whatever. I'll have to make sure my, my partner over there, Raven, doesn't get in here. Sierra's not too bad. The older cat, she's not too bad about that, but Raven likes to get up on stuff. She sleeps on the refrigerator so sometimes during the day, but she likes to sleep at the foot of my bed at night. So I have this six foot tall armoire and it's how she gets on top of that thing, I have no idea. Jump, I guess. Jumps up on top of the refrigerator and not from the counter. I don't know how she does it, but she does. Just a cat for you, I guess. But I'll keep her out of here, but she likes to come wherever I'm at, so. Just keep the door closed. I may eventually put a little small TV in here so I can watch these videos and everything. I was watching Cross Anchors tonight. I was basically listening to it in the other room. I could listen to the stereo system I had TV hooked up to. I don't know how many times I heard Mike say, Orange Aura Cars. If you saw the show, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let me quit rambling and get on with this outro. And if you like what you saw, Sit here and subscribe and hit that like button if you liked anything and then leave a comment on some ideas maybe I can do or whether it be video wise or whether it be just stuff on the layout. But the one thing is about these model trains, if you're not having fun, you're probably building your bench work. <laughs> you thought I was going to see you doing it wrong. Now that's probably what you're doing. Lord, I hate that worse than the ballasting part of it, believe me. But anyway... Until I see you, see you later.